Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make the stained glass card. Let's get started. Hey guys, how are we all doing today? In today's video, I want to show you how you can take a file from Creative Fabrica and make a stained art card. With this technique, it's gonna be super easy, super quick. You use your printer, you cut it out with your Cricut and you guys are good to go. So first things first, we're going to go to Creative Fabrica and we're going to put in the search engine stain glass and then a whole lot should come up. So as you see all these stained glasses and they got some cute ones. They got ones made out of doggies. You got ones out of lighthouses, butterflies. They are super, super cute. But I love me some flowers. And with the flowers, when you end up doing the dimensions, it really, really comes out super cute. So I got this file right here, which is a stained glass pink Parninis. And I want to download this file right here you get 10 pngs at 300 dpi's which that is a good 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 dpi it comes out clear cool collective and everything so i already downloaded my file so now i'm just gonna go over to i already downloaded my file and i already got it in Cricut Design Space. Now in Cricut Design Space, it comes in super big. It comes in 25 inches by 30 something, something like that. But knock it down to a 5 by 7. Okay, so what I want to do is I need a shape so I can design this card. So now I want to make a 5 by 5 inch card. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get a square and you don't need to put the card base on here because automatically you know that the card base is going to be 5 by 10 and then you score it at 5 inches. Okay, so now I want this to be 5 and this is going to be a 5 by 5 card. So now that we got our base right here. The next step is that we are going to do is, okay, so now what we want to do, we want to bring in some different size shapes. So if this is going to be five and a half or five, you want this one to be four, four by four. Then you want to duplicate another one. Then you want to put that three by three. And since it's going to stay the same proportion, all you have to do is just change one number, which is three. And then I want to go make another one and turn that to be two inches. Okay, so now that I got my images, I'm going to change these three into a black color not a gray color like this one black okay so here goes two by two three by three and four by four so now what we're going to do is okay so now that we got our black bases here so now let's work on the card now let's bring in another shape and this shape is just going to be another square and you want to do a border around each of your images. So if this is going to be five inches, you want to go a quarter less. So then you will want to go 4.75, 4.75, and that will go right there. And then you want to duplicate the same space. And you want to make this 3.75. You want to go down an inch down. 
And remember, if you're leaving it on the same size proportion, you don't have to do anything, but just change the first number. And then you want to duplicate this and then go down to a 2.75. So now that we got our images, this is going to be Then I got that on. That looked good. That one looks good right there. And now let's see how this is going to look. Because now I got that one. Then you want to go. That's the main base is the black. Then this is going to be the picture. And then this is going to be the second layer. And that's going to go right over. Okay. And now I'm going to take those. And that's going to go right here in the middle. And then I'm going to take this set. And I'm going to line it up in the center. And then now I'm going to take this and and guys this is starting to look good already and then now I got the two by two I want to bring this forward and then I want to make another cut okay hold on a second Okay, so that's the back layer. No, this is the card base, then the image, then this is the base, then this is the image, and then this is the base, and this is the image. And then, let me duplicate this one. And if this is 2.75, I want to make this 1.75. 1 1.75. And then you got the 2 inch layer right there. And then our... Okay, hold on. I'm making this so difficult and it don't have to be. It don't have to be guys okay so this needs to be black and then this needs to be gray okay so this is what our card is going to look like okay and then this one is a four board by 75 okay yes so then this is your base This is your layer that goes over. No, this is your image. So let me bring this. I think I am going to find out what size I'm going to have this. Okay, so I decided not to go the 1 by 75 by 1 by 75, so I'm going to take X that out. So my first base is going to be 5 by 5, as you can see, and this is your card base, and it's going to be black. Now the next one is going to be this gray, which this gray right here is going to be part of our picture. So what I want to do is kind of... Okay, so I just want to bring this up a little bit. I think that will look good right there. And then I'm going to go and press slice. And here goes our first image. So this is a four 
0.75 and then I'm going to put this I don't need that square no more but I'm gonna bring this to the front and this is going to be our first layer to go on the card and it's going to look like that now for our second layer you can go and delete this part right now you don't need it no more and you could probably delete this square because you already imitated it so then the next square is going to be this black and I'm going to bring this to the front and then I'm going to layer it right in the middle and what I want to do is duplicate this image and I'm going to duplicate it twice and then I'm going to take this square and I'm going to add this to the middle I'm going to align it horizontal center and then I'm going to take both those images and I'm going to slice and there goes the second part okay so the next one is now I'm going to bring this layer and I'm going to bring it to the bottom and it's to the front and I'm going to line that up then I'm going to take this box right here and I want to center both these images in the middle of my okay and then I want to take them both and then I want to slice and I got that part done and then I'm going to go right here and do you see what I'm talking about the stained glass as you keep on adding you see how everything lines up right in front of it oh my god it's such a beautiful card guys and it's so easy to do and now I'm gonna bring this shape right here to the front now this is a 2 by 75 so I'm gonna bring this as this is going to be our last cut so now I'm gonna bring this one over here and I want to take those two I want to align them horizontal align them centered and then press slice and then we have our last our last image and there goes our card base now you can add whatever you want as I love you uh, thinking of you I mean this is such a beautiful style card so right now what I'm going to do I'm gonna close all of this out I want to do a print and cut in this and it is print and cut let's make it and see if this is a print and cut yep this is a print and cut and as you can see they end up <laughs> no beta testing guys yay they finally gave us what we've been asking for so now I'm just gonna go and print this out on some photo paper and we're going to come to my table and we are going to create this beautiful card. Let's get started. Okay, so now that I got my images, I just got one more. So there goes my images and now I'm going to cut down my cardstock to be... Okay, so now on this black cardstock, you want to go and cut it at 4 inches, 3 inches, and 2 inches. Here goes my other three layers that I got. One on the side, and now my card base is going to be a 5 by 10. So then I want to cut this at 10 inches. And then by 5. Okay, and now here goes your card base. So now let's start putting this all together. And I want to score my... 
So what I want to do is I want to fold this in half. And I want to crease it. Now, you can have your card going up this way. Or have it opening up this way. And the way the card is, I think I'm going to open it up this way. So, let me do that. Let's start layering this card. Okay, so I got some double-sided tape. And the double-sided tape is going to be dimensional. Okay, guys? So I'm going to use my double-sided tape. And I'm going to start popping all of this up. And of course, you guys know, if you know me, I like to pop everything pretty much up. Give it a little dimension. Okay. So now I'm just going to put some tape on the rest of them. And then we're going to put this together. Okay. So I got my first layer down. Now I'm going to add this one. I'm just going to lay this right in the middle. So there goes our first layer. Now for the second one would be, it's going to be four inches. And you want to add that right in the middle. And then you want to add your flowers to the middle of that cute cute card now you want to go and make sure that you line up everything because as you can see that is uh it all falls into place okay do you see how that is looking <laughs> Now for my last piece. So now here goes my last square. It's going to go right there in the middle. And here goes my last piece that does the layering. And as you can see, it all layers together. And it's going to go right in the middle. Making sure everything is lined up. So now here goes my other piece. So. Let's add this to the middle. And tell me that card don't look cool. Oh my God, definitely when you go to cut the, the picture out, make sure there's no whiting. As you can see, I still got white. But guys, tell me this card does not look super cute. Hold on one second, I got something else. My little die press and I'm just going to press this down right on front. You are the best. And I didn't put no glue on the sides of them because I wanted to pop up. But there you go, guys. My stained glass card. I really hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please thumbs up. Let me know what you think. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye now.